Now let's take a look at how navigation has changed inside the new interface. You'll notice the tabs are gone. They're over here now. And we have our regular toolbars, more of a standard toolbar, which you can set up however you want to set them up. So our tabs are over here now. Here's our project. We also have a custom and a template, just like we always had. Customs where you'd come to add something that you have on screen. We have our actors, which has almost everything that goes to actors, avatar, head, accessories. This would be where our eyes and things like that are, gloves. It really makes a lot of sense uh, to using it. It puts things in one area. Now, here's one of the best features, one of the best changes I like, and that is the motion tab. It has everything in one place, persona, motion, facial, hands, motion plus, all of it right here, again, with its own custom tab. Then we come into scene, several things, 2D, background, image layers. But one of the most used would probably be props, which again, everything is, is pretty orderly in here. We have props, trees, grass, particle, terrain, water, sky, path. That's everything that you'd want to add to a scene very quickly. Then here's media. Media is just what the media tab was before, except that in this test version, there is some substance materials in it. And I'm not sure if this will change or not, but that's some extra materials that you can drag and drop onto objects. And then there is this package tab, which uh, we'll get into later because I'm not even sure exactly what all it does just yet. Looks like it might be things that come from Realism, things you have that are not installed, uh, stuff like that. But as you can see, this is a pretty neat layout right here, real quick. But one thing that I can tell you is it will be a little bit different in that let's go ahead and load Mason. And you're going to remember, you're going to have to migrate up and down these tabs. You no longer roll up and down the way this is set. If you want to change something in here, uh, you're going to have to migrate up and down the tabs. So let's go ahead and let's just put in some kind of a prop. Let's just put in a tree. This is one of the real trees. And now if we want to choose between one of those, we're going to have to go into the scene tab over here. And this can all be made wider by coming out here to the edge of the tabs and moving them back and forth. And then, of course, you want to come up here to the label area to make that wider. But this is where we're going to select and drill down to the various aspects of what's on screen. So remember, you're not going to be in just one menu anymore. You'll need to go to Scene when you want to highlight something if you can't directly highlight it on the screen. And then we have Visual, which is where we'll go in and turn on all the things that used to be under Atmosphere, basically. So you'll be bouncing back and forth quite a bit between these two. And then over here, of course, we have the same tabs. Depending on what's selected, your tabs will change. If you want to start gardening, yeah, we can go ahead and we can do a bunch of trees. And we can garden. Or we can go back to Mason over here. And here's our motion. Isn't this great? Motion puppet, all of that is great. And then here is something you're going to be very familiar with. And this is the textures. Textures now have their own tab. They're not going to be incorporated into anything else. So when you're over here on Modify, you're going to always want to go to Texture. To change it and here's our pickers and things like this and texture has a little bit more sophistication to it now than it used to have and then of course here's our soft cloth or our physics this is where if we wanted to make part of this soft cloth we would activate it here the object has multiple materials it says we're not going to get into all of that we would use a weight map to select what we want to do we would go in and select actually what we're turning on like the shirt something like that and it would allow us to activate physics on that object so this is all right here, very quickly, uh, very easy to get to. I think they've done a pretty good job of putting a lot of things in front of us at once. But one thing I would recommend is that you control six and look at every different menu that is available. And you can set it up however you wish to set it up. You can break all of these out of here. As you can see, there's quite a bit here. Now here's another thing too. You can also make this interface as simple as you want. If you do not want any of this and all you use is a few of these features, then just set up a simple interface. That's all there is to it. If you don't want to use visual, you can pull visual out and close it out for right now. Just use content, scene, and modify. There's our first quick look at how we can navigate around.